Welcome again, everyone. Today, we want to share a near-death experience of a doctor, a scientist who wants to remain anonymous, yet wants others to know what happened to him. So we agreed. Of course, as many of you already know, we do use AI software, both in video and also Flicky AI software for our different videos, but we always use our own messages. For anonymity, we will call him Dr. Ellis. On this particular day, he began it like any other, but we believe his story is so profound. Maybe one near-death experience you will find to be so amazing and profoundly miraculous. The sun's rays filtered through the blinds, casting a warm glow on his cluttered desk. Papers and research notes lay scattered, testament to his dedication to science and discovery. He sipped his morning coffee, savouring the quiet moments before heading to the laboratory. The drive to the lab was uneventful. Traffic was light and his favourite classical music played softly in the background. As he approached an intersection, his mind wandered to the latest experiment awaiting his attention. Without warning, a truck swerved into his lane. The screeching of tires and the deafening crash shattered the tranquility of the morning. Dr. Ellis's car spun out of control, metal crumpling and glass shattering. In an instant, everything went black. When he finally regained awareness, he found himself floating above the wreckage. As Dr. Ellis hovered above the scene, he observed the frantic efforts to revive his lifeless body. The paramedics worked with urgency, their faces etched with determination. Time seemed irrelevant as he watched, detached yet deeply connected to the unfolding events. He felt no pain, only an immense calmness enveloping him. The contrast between the serene detachment of his out-of-body experience and the turmoil below was stark. He marveled at the clarity of his surroundings. Colors seemed more vibrant, sounds more distinct. He could see the individual leaves on the trees, hear the distant chirping of birds, even as the chaos below continued. As he floated higher, the sounds of the earthly realm faded. He felt drawn toward a radiant light in the distance. Dr. Ellis's ascent was gentle, like a feather caught in an updraft. The light grew brighter, enveloping him in a cocoon of pure, unconditional love. He felt an indescribable sense of belonging, as if he had returned to a place he had always known but forgotten. The higher he ascended, the more he shed his earthly concerns. Fear, doubt and pain seemed to dissolve, replaced by an all-encompassing peace. He felt an intrinsic connection to everything around him, a unity that defied explanation. As he journeyed further, he began to see forms taking shape within the light. Ethereal beings radiating warmth and wisdom surrounded him. They communicated without words, their thoughts and emotions flowing into his mind like a gentle stream. These beings welcomed him with open arms, their love and acceptance profound. As Dr. Ellis acclimated to this new realm, a figure emerged from the light. This presence was unlike any other, majestic, serene, exuding an aura of deep wisdom and love. The figure was both familiar and awe-inspiring, evoking a sense of reverence and wonder. The divine presence communicated through thoughts and visions, bypassing the need for words. Dr. Ellis felt an influx of knowledge, as if his mind was being expanded to comprehend truths beyond human understanding. The messages were clear and profound, resonating deeply within his soul. He says it was Jesus, and the presence told him of humanity's future, a world transformed by love and unity. Jesus told him that humanity has gone wrong. They have been reading his word incorrectly. That is why there continues to be so much division greed, hatred in the world. He said his word was written in deep correspondences and parables that have only been revealed to a very few people since he died, and he will not be returning to corruption as he stated. He said that he had come once and taught people how to live, but people have distorted his original message of love for the entire human race because of their freedoms to choose. Dr. Ellis further stated that Jesus told him that people's egos and lack of love is what is causing the problems on earth. There is too much greed, too many people are driven with a need and want for power. People's egos are out of control. Jesus said, our lives are only about love and charity, his two greatest commandments, and that people simply need to change their minds, which some call repentance, and begin to live with only love and charity for each other. He created us love each other. He wants to fill heaven from the human race. Dr. Ellis saw cities bathed in golden light, communities thriving in harmony, and people living in peace and mutual respect. 
This divine encounter filled him with a sense of purpose. He realized that he had been chosen to witness and share this vision, to inspire others to strive for this utopian future. The divine figure radiated a light so pure and intense that Dr. Ellis felt his very essence illuminated. It was as if he was being shown the core truths of existence, truths that transcended any scientific understanding he had previously held. He told Dr. Ellis that he was living in too much ego, from his pride of his job and not helping others enough, even small gestures with whatever gifts and talents the Lord gave him. Jesus also told him to even help others more financially. As other people need to do, there is too much starvation in the world. The Presence's wisdom flowed into him, filling him with insights that defied earthly logic. He saw visions of a world where humanity had transcended its baser instincts. There were no wars, no suffering, only a profound sense of interconnectedness and mutual respect. People lived in harmony with nature, and technology was used to enhance life, not destroy it. The Presence communicated that this utopian future was not a distant dream, but an attainable reality. It was a choice, a path that humanity could choose by embracing love, compassion and unity. Dr. Ellis felt an overwhelming sense of responsibility to share this message, to be a beacon of hope and inspiration for others. This encounter transformed him deeply. The visions continued to unfold, each more breathtaking than the last. Dr. Ellis saw a world where humanity had overcome its divisions, no more borders, no more conflicts. People of all races, cultures and backgrounds lived together in harmony celebrating their differences and finding strength in their unity. He witnessed advancements in science and technology that were used to heal the planet and improve the quality of life for all its inhabitants. Renewable energy-powered cities, medical breakthroughs eradicated diseases and education was accessible to everyone. It was a world where knowledge and wisdom were shared freely. The Divine Presence showed him the importance of love in achieving this utopian future. Love was the foundation upon which this new world was built. It was not just romantic love, but a deep universal love that connected all living beings. This love guided every action, every decision, creating a ripple effect of positivity and growth. And... The visions revealed a society transformed by love. In this future, individuals will begin to prioritize compassion and empathy over personal gain. As billions have already since Jesus left, communities will begin thriving because they are being built on mutual respect and understanding. People work together, driven by a common goal of improving the world for everyone. Dr. Ellis saw educational systems that nurtured creativity and critical thinking, empowering individuals to reach their full potential. There was a focus on holistic well-being with mental, physical and spiritual health all being valued equally. People lived balanced lives, contributing to a society that was both innovative and harmonious. Environmental stewardship was also a central theme. Humanity had learned to live in harmony with nature, respecting the Earth's resources and working to restore its ecosystems. Green spaces flourished, wildlife thrived and cities were designed to be sustainable and beautiful. The Presence then focused on the theme of unity, Dr. Ellis was shown a world where the concept of us versus them no longer existed. People saw themselves as part of a global family, interconnected and interdependent. This unity was the foundation of the utopian future he had witnessed. In this world, collaboration will replace competition. Nations will work together to solve global challenges from climate change to poverty. Resources will be shared and knowledge will flow freely across borders. It will become a world where everyone has a stake in the well-being of the planet and others. This unity will extend beyond humanity to include all living beings. Animals will be respected and protected and ecosystems preserved. There was a deep understanding that the health of the planet is intrinsically linked to the health of its inhabitants. As the visions began to fade, Dr. Ellis felt a gentle pull back toward his earthly body. The transition was seamless, the Divine Presence assuring him that his mission was far from over. With a sense of renewed purpose, he re-entered the physical world, bringing with him the profound insights he had gained. When he awoke in the hospital, he was surrounded by concerned faces. His body ached and the beeping of medical machines filled the room. 
but despite the physical pain, he felt an overwhelming sense of peace and clarity. He knew that he had been given a second chance, a chance to share the vision of a utopian future with the world. His recovery was slow and challenging, but he faced it with unwavering determination. The memories of his divine encounter remained vivid, guiding him through the difficult days. He found solace in the knowledge that he had a true purpose. As Dr. Ellis now believes that every small act of kindness and every step toward unity contributes to the larger goal of a utopian world. And more and more people are beginning to see the interconnectedness of all life and the importance of working together to create a better future. Dr. Ellis hopes his vision inspires a sense of hope and possibility, encouraging others to take action. He encourages people to start with simple acts of kindness and compassion by fostering love and unity in everyone's own lives, families, relationships, and then reaching out to others will contribute to the broader goal of a harmonious world. Dr. Ellis's journey from a tragic accident to a divine vision transformed not only his life but hopes to inspire others. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, share this story and subscribe for our many more future videos. If you make the bell black, you will be notified every time we upload and feel free to watch our many other videos. Thanks again. Until next time.